With the first pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. Every basket LeBron James scores is plus one upgrade. I have recreated LeBron James in his prime, and this replicates his build the most out of any build on the game. As you guys can see, our prime LeBron James build is called an inside the arc scorer. And by the end of this video, this prime LeBron James build is going to be a demigod. But really quick, 87% of you guys who watch my videos every day are not subscribed. If you are one of those people, click that subscribe button now. Our first opponent is a 90 overall inside out threat. Let's see if we can even score as a 60 overall LeBron James. Let's see our first attempt. Okay, snatch back, step back. Oh, he's literally sitting under the rim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump. He jumped. Lay. No, there's no green window for me to. <laughs> like I was saying, though, I feel like this video is going to be way harder than I actually think until we get to like a 70 overall. But this dude is just camping in the paint. Like, you got it, dude. You got it, bro. Like, you got it. And they got me cold my first game. Like, of course, I'm playing against somebody who be playing this shit like it's their 9 to 5 job, dude. Ronnie, where is my 60 overall brown shirt? Same level, 60 overall bum. I need to play my same competition. <gasps> He's not here. Lay! <laughs> I'm now 61 overall. Let's go, man. It don't matter how we get the bucket. We got the bucket. That's all that matters. I, I don't care what I got to do to max out this LeBron James build. But we're doing everything we can. That was good defense. Spin. He jumped. Please. Lay! Let's go. That's 62 overall just like that. Let's keep this up. Right now, I'm just thinking, though, like, what do I even upgrade first once we get out of this game? Oh, no. He made us pick up the dribble. Self alley oop? Man, why did why can't I throw it? But like, actually, though, there's so many important first attributes that we should be upgrading, but it's like, which attribute do we upgrade first? It could be driving layup, driving dunk, stamina, uh, three-point shot, mid-range shot, standing dunk, um, ball hand. Like, bro, how do I shoot a floater? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna shoot a floater. Hey. Oh, it worked! Oh, we're now a 63 overall. Let's go. W thinking, in my opinion. Let's go, man. That was... Good aim. <laughs> Yo, shout out Jinxie, man. That dude funny as hell. Now, and I already know now I say that everybody's going to be talking about Sketch in the comment section. What's up, brother? <laughs> hey, if you guys are still seeing this right now, comment, what's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> on god i put my finger up in real life too when i said that <laughs> you gotta put the what's up brother with the one finger pointing to the sky emoji bro that's literally like the most signature phrase i think a streamer has ever said you know nadex you know from the 2k community nadex got some of the most like most memorable words and in, in, like quotes he used to say and shit so luminati does too but like bro that, that boy's sketch is just worldwide with the what's up brother like real shit like nah it's facts i got one more attempt to score let's see what we can do maybe another floater <clears throat> yeah nah that, that shit is just not happening bro you can get me up on out this court so we can upgrade our build to a 63 overall bro he's shooting that oh hell no and this is like the hardest part of the video is what do we upgrade first you know i think stamina is really important but honestly to get buckets i gotta go with my driving dunk until we get to a 63 overall let's see how far we can get with that right there we can get up to an 88 driving dunk off the rip literally after the first game that is a really good stat I i'm cool with this all right we're gonna upgrade this right here you know what i think it's time to do another story time i'll be seeing comments on my old videos clutch you should bring back the story times i got y'all okay you know what it it's been a minute i got a good one for you guys now this story is about a carnival six flags whatever you want to call it an amusement park just a place that has a whole bunch of rides oh my god no there's no way i'm missing again like bro this kid is mad small bro he he looked like he came straight out the happy meal box bro at the bottom of the bag small ad my player and shit you're not making that you're not good all right let's redo this okay this is why i'm never going back to another carnival like nah it's never happening six flags whatever you want to call it i remember i used to go to these things quite often whenever i was little to celebrate like a birthday or oh, oh green eight percent let's go 64 overall clutch the like i was saying whenever i was younger i would go to six flags a lot for like a birthday or just you know to go have some fun throughout the summer just anytime i was with friends it'd be a good fun little thing to do let's go lebron give me two that should be a 65 overall so this one time when me and my cousin went 
we went to the one ride called the Superman. If you guys aren't familiar, I think all six flags have the same rides. If I'm not mistaken, you might have to look it up. But for where I am, this ride was called the Superman. Basically, what the suit? Oh my God, I'm a bucket. Oh my God, LeBron James is 62 overall. You are now a walking bucket. We get in buckets like that, easy as hell in the paint, bro. So yeah, this ride that I was on was called the Superman. And we would go on this, you know, a few times, you know. I didn't really like it because this ride, when I mean this, it, it's like, it's one of the tallest rides in the entire, like, amusement park this ride is like so damn tall you damn near gonna fall from like the eiffel tower it's one of them things that don't do shit except that shit just drops straight down at like 10 million miles per hour so that shit already scary enough who the hell is just openly going on some bullshit where you could just literally like i hate to say it but die like oh come on lebron it's our fourth bucket this game like i said i was mad young whenever me and my cousin went and this happened but all i remember is that we went on this ride we waited like 45 minutes just to get on this one little ass ride that just dropped straight down at like 60 miles per hour and we just fell from the sky and i just remember that when we were getting on that ride i just had a terrible gut feeling from the jump before i even got on the ride oh lay her give me two dummy <laughs> <laughs> man i haven't said that shit in a minute Woo, feel good all right as i was saying before i even got on this ride waiting in line you know you see everybody else on the ride before you You're like ah you know yep they survived up to the next person and then the line slowly gets closer to you and like yo i'm just a bucket that's our sixth one this game whole time i'm watching each person's facial expressions you know what i'm saying i'm asking people how was the ride you know as they get off and shit knowing damn well it's almost my turn to go because bro i'm gonna be real i don't know about y'all but like roller coasters is not safe to me dude like i be seeing some of these people like at fairs i don't know if you guys you know know what like a a, a fair is and shit Whew, lay okay i'm sure most of you guys know what like a, a fair is it's basically just a big ass carnival in, in your city your town your state whatever the fuck and most of the people that run them state fair carnivals whatever it is bro, i don't trust a damn soul Hey, you got me fucked up. Probably seeing how they how they haul them rides from place to place. Them them carnival rides be collapsing and folding up like it's like it's a, a, a Lego piece, bro. Like I'm not trusting that shit. Like as a kid, like I guess I just didn't care about my life and I just went on whatever because it was like fun. I don't know if that's even fun, bro. I know my parents were stressing crazy because it's like you see these rides get brought place to place, but them bitches look like they they held up by fucking Elmer's glue, bro. That that shit is not safe for no kids at all, bro. So. So eventually it's our turn to get on this superman ride at six flags i'm telling my boy i'm like bro <laughs> i am about to shit myself like this is the most like most nervous i've ever been my hands damn there went through an entire workout because they were just drenched my stomach had the most butterflies i think they had ever felt i'm not gonna lie to you my stomach was like inside out i, I couldn't even speak words but obviously we get on that ride you know everybody's going through the check through yep make sure you buckle in yep yep yep, yep. but i swear on everything i love when the Six Flags employees went to press down on my seat, that shit did not latch all the way. And when I'm telling you it's supposed to latch and, like, make it to where you cannot move at all, like, that's the latch I'm talking about. Like, yeah, you can press it down and then, like, there's a little, like, seatbelt type of click so there's still space that you can, like, push out and stuff. Like, that's enough to fall out, especially being a small kid. Bro, you could definitely slip out that little thing and just completely fall out yo holy shit it's 20 to 20 right now yo story time plus the gameplay shit we we ball it come on we hooping oh my god when you want stop right here when you want stop lebron when you want stop when you want stop lebron come on he ain't doing shit on us uh-uh no 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 oh dude <laughs> after scoring 10 times we are now gonna be a 73 overall we needed that game i think the next thing i'm gonna do is finish out our driving dunk just because a 94 driving dunk we're gonna be unstoppable the next thing we obviously need is our stamina we need this and it barely takes any overall so now we're at a max stamina the next category i gotta work with is our three-point shot so we're not as predictable i want to hopefully we can upgrade this all the way oh we can beautiful 68 overall maxed out our three-point shot 
I, I'm really tempted to upgrade my block so we can get one of them chase down block moments. Um, maybe later on. Not right now, though. <laughs> we definitely need our speed with ball. I've been realizing we are extremely slow and that's just not gonna, you know, work. And I guess we gotta upgrade our speed as well. And then I'm gonna upgrade my vertical so we can jump out the gym. And just like that, we're a 73 overall, but we're gonna keep on upgrading until we literally can't no more. And just like that, 64,000 VC later, our second game. Let's go, baby. Let's upgrade this. Now that we're a 73 overall, I need to put y'all boys on game. So listen up. If you guys are trying to make some extra money, listen up. Just this past month, I'm up over $4,000 just by selecting higher or lower. And you guys can do the exact same as well. All you have to do is download Underdog Fantasy, which is the first link in the description. And when you sign up, use my code CLUTCH, all capital letters, C-L-U-T-C-H. When you use my code, they will bless you with the deposit match up to $100. So if you put in $10, they'll match it and you'll have $20 in your balance and when you use my code they will offer you specials every single day don't miss out on this opportunity if you guys are trying to make some money don't forget when you download the app use code clutch now that i put y'all boys onto the method go get your bread sign up use that code clutch i got y'all you guys know when they latch you in you got that first initial seat belt on a superman and then after that they're supposed to push that thing down as tight as they can so you literally cannot move at all right long story short that shit did not fully click the seat belt it was clicked but it was still too much room all right too much room to scare me for life like i say i never want to go to another carnival another six flags nah i can watch from the side i'll play all the mini games you know they'll take my money that way but no you, you cannot catch me on another ride i'll literally shit my pants i might faint on them rides i've seen videos of motherfuckers fainting midair and shit like bro oh hell no i cannot do it bro I, I just cannot trust them especially like the fairs bro the fairs be the scariest because oh hell no my, my jump shot did not change at all bro this is bad why does the jumpers never change on that next game you play I, I just don't understand okay we're good now that we got some of our stats this shit should be pretty easy i'm gonna be real we still don't have any dribble moves but it don't matter come on lebron hey but obviously i'm freaking out whole time i'm like yo help 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 put my fucking shit like make that shit latch like i'm not trying to die today bro like i'm trying to have fun and i'm also not trying to die simple as that but by the time that shit was going we were already going up bro and i'm sitting there freaking out panicking like bro i'm going to fall out of this shit going down bro i don't know if y'all know the superman it comes down at a really fast rate like you are going faster than lightning, bro. Old time, I'm freaking out. We going up slowly. And you know it's the most slowest ride that goes all the way up. Hey, come on, LeBron. I'm not gonna lie, the whole ride up, I'm just praying. I'm talking to God. Like, I, I thought it was my time. Like, I was like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it happens, it happens. And one, baby. Come on, LeBron. Oh, yeah, that's tough. We get to the very top. I'm pretty sure they say some shit on their little microphone that everybody can hear at the top. So I'm about, all right, we're about to go down. Yeah. Pff, yeah. Pff. Just say that. Just say that right in front of my face. You know, I would rather it just happen and catch me off guard than, than you tell me when my time is about to be up for real. Like, that's how I felt. The ride goes. We slam down. Obviously, I'm alive. I'm here. I'm telling y'all this freaking story time. But long story short, I'll never go again. Hell no, nah, never again. And you know what's so crazy? Because that same summer, I saw multiple carnivals, Six Flags, whatever the amusement parks is called. Bro, I saw the craziest shit on the news. I saw timelines. I seen this one ride in Ohio. It threw off hella people, bro. This one ride threw off like, I don't want to say a number and it'd be wrong, but it had to be more than like six people off this one ride. How the hell are you going to tell me I'm going to go back to this carnival shit when, when it literally can happen? Like, nah, bro, you got me. Nah, bro, nah. And then that same summer, somebody else on that same Superman ride passed away. RIP to bro. Like, people are just out here dying off of other people's mistakes by not checking anything, bro. This is why I'll never do a carnival amusement park. Hell Nah, uh-uh, 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 hey, come on, LeBron, it's just something about me that I just cannot do, bro, I, I don't know if it's just me being a little bitch, I'm sure they're mad fun, you know, I used to have a lot of fun as a kid and stuff, but it's just, there's a trust issue, you know when you got trust issues with a girl, carnival got, pfft. oh, hell no, 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 a girl more trustworthy than a damn carnival, I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real, shit, at least the girl won't take my life, like, you know what I'm saying, unless she's, like, some crazy, like, you know, devil, like, I don't, I don't know, okay, come on, LeBron, hey, 
this kid just quit? Bro, this kid is like not even playing. Hold up. I'm so distracted with my own story, bro. This kid ain't even playing. Man, I'm dead. Hold up. You can't be playing against me, Prime LeBron James, and just not play. Please let me know in the comments if I'm not the only one that just don't like carnivals and shit. And like, if y'all have the same type of trust issue as well, oh shit, we're in takeover. You already know what that means. We're choosing slashing take. We're gonna get a posterizer. Hold up. Slashing takeover. We getting posterizer this game. Come on, LeBron. We can get two more upgrades right quick. Ooh. Come on, LeBron. He can't guard us. Hey. Yes, sir. Okay, we got to get a, a, a driving dunk with the meter. There's the dunk meter. I was like, damn, bro. Okay, there we go. First game we won with the prime LeBron James build. I ain't gonna lie to you. Brody Brody was complete dog shit. I'm, I'm gonna be real. After scoring 11 times, y'all boys do the math. 73 plus 11 gives us 84. And we are straight chilling. Now we're gonna have some fun. We gotta upgrade this block all the way. So hopefully we can get a classic, iconic LeBron James chase down. I feel like we gotta upgrade our mid-range shot, you know, so we can get some green beans. You feel me? Need that. I think post control would be a fun stat to upgrade. So let's upgrade our post control. Driving layup is a must, honestly. Need that. And the next that we're gonna upgrade is our ball handle so we can actually get some dribble moves in oh i just realized we don't have enough vc for all of that <laughs> that is just insane works i'm gonna be real i currently have a go fund vc for uh clutch up next you know what i'm saying go fund vc clutch up next if you guys want to you know donate all proceeds will go towards videos in the making Seventy-seven thousand vc later we can upgrade to an 81 overall which i'll play by the rules i'll still get nine more buckets to max out this build okay Chase down! Let's go! I caught it and I just got back late. Hold up, we got a block. Chase down by LeBron James. You know what I'm talking about. LeBron James. <laughs> Man, who remembers when that meme just like blew up out of nowhere on Vine? Oh shit. We have no energy. We gotta lock in. Get back in our prime. You feel me? And finish off this video. We need nine total buckets to get to a 90 overall. Obviously, VC is the issue. And, you know, damn well, I'm not gonna spend another $100 just to, you know, max out nine more upgrades whenever this is, like, already a good build. But what I gotta show y'all is this jump shot. Let's see if it's saved. Okay, right there, LeBron. Oh, yeah, it changed. Man, fuck. Oh, I just blocked this jumper. Yo, that was different. Let's go, LeBron, right there in front of his face. Ooh. He's not guarding us. We have to be able to green that. Ooh. Step back. Cross him over. He jumped like an idiot. That's our second bucket. We need that. We needed that. Okay, we needed that. We got to boost our confidence. Maybe we need to wait till we're in sharpshooting takeover because, you know, it's apparent that I'm sharpshooting takeover made. I'm a, you know, a 78 three-pointer made. Or maybe it's just I need my own actual jump shot because this shit is chopped. Oh, that cross was nice. You can't even lie. Give me two. Now we are in takeover. Y'all boys already know we got to pop that sharpshooting takeover like we have to. Oh, got his ass jumping. Lay her. Come on, LeBron. Yes, sir. We got at least green one three. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of disappointed in myself in a sense of, bro, we could not green a single. Oh, wow. He just torched me. All right. Nah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, nah, it's cool. Yup, we good. We're going to get a bucket right here. Baseline. Hey, come on, bro. Yes, sir. We literally need one more. We need one more. That's it. We need one more. Or that. Oh, that's it. It's for the mind. It's for the mind, Cleasy. I get gifted the mind, Cleasy. Hey! Ooh, let's go. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.